Hi there everyone, welcome to my next X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This is against a passerby called Luan, and as you can see he's bringing some of the typical overused frets, and even that blaziken which if it turned out to be a mega could be quite the problem. So one of his big strong attacking Pokemon here is Garchomp. So I lead off with my Smeargle knowing I'm, I can put anything to sleep except for the uh, Pharaoh Thorn, but yep. Here's Garchomp and he starts setting up. And that's pretty worrisome, so I go ahead and put that thing straight to sleep. I should be okay to get up some of my hazards now. I've got my Dusclops to take its hits. Should be able to take, uh, hopefully, a Sword Danced uh, Dragon attack off this guy. So I go ahead, get up my Sticky Web, make his team slower. And next I set up the Stealth Rock, which will definitely help me out here. So, now that I've managed to do all this, I figure I'll go for my Parting Shot, lower its attack a bit. But unfortunately he wakes up and is able to put me down to my Sash. However, I'm able to get out of there, lowering his attack, which is great for me. And I'll switch straight into Dusclops here. Dusclops would definitely be able to survive any hit he throws at me now and hopefully I'll be able to get the burn off. Dusclops' pressure ability is quite a good ability for a tank. I was not expecting the crunch, so that is bothersome, but it only gets me down to about 55... no, I'm only at about 60% there. Unfortunately I do get the defense drop. Luckily my burn was a hit, and yep, he goes to set up more but I'll just uh, throw out a bit of confusion on him. Yep, and uh, now with all that those attacks boosts, he'll be doing double the damage to himself if he hits himself in confusion. With that crunch though, my Dusclops is still not entirely safe, but lucky for me, he hits himself. I go for mean look here to make sure he can't switch out. Although, of course, back then I thought that mean look would mean even if I switched my dusk dust corpse or my dust crop died that uh, he wouldn't be able to switch but I realize these days that that is not the case so I switch into Malmar hopefully get up a superpower on it but the thing ends up hitting itself in confusion and burning itself again so down it goes unfortunately I lost out on switch uh, priority there but in comes the Ferrothorn, weak against my fighting, although it does have the Iron Barbs and possibly the Rocky Helmet on it. So, I just go ahead anyway, get up my superpower, and uh, yep, I'm able to get it down to very low health while raising my, my stats. Unfortunately, yes, this is the one that has, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Put iron barbs and uh, <laughs> and the rocky helmet. So yeah, I'm not sure why I went for night slash there. I, mean, I should have. I guess I forgot it was a contact move, unlike psycho cut, which I probably should have gone for. However, in comes the Gyarados, and it has intimidate, which gives me a nice attack boost. So one psycho cut, and I'm able to take that thing out. Luckily it was not faster than me, I'm not sure why. Possibly that was uh, one traded up from... No? Yep, this was before Pokebank, so that couldn't have been one from uh, gold or silver. Yeah. So, I have to worry about this Blaziken here, but luckily with that uh, speed drop from the sticky web, even with one speed boost here, I should be able to outspeed it. Which I do. And down it goes. I get the crit as well. Of course, I'm holding the scope lens to, which raises the chance of me getting critical hits on my slashing moves by up to 50%. So I have a 50% chance. That is, Tyranitar is no match for my for my Malma. One superpower will definitely take this guy out. Although, turns out that was the one on his on his team that can Mega Evolve. And down it goes. <laughs> yep. 
too bad Tyranitar is super weak against fighting moves, and I'd already had a bunch of attack boosts, so that thing wasn't going to stick around for very long. This is a nice clean Malamar sweep for me. I absolutely love Malamar. In comes the Alakazam, which normally would outspeed me, but with the sticky web, there is no. It is quite unlikely. And it falls to a dark move. And that seals me the victory. And I get a sneaky crit at the end. And down goes Lan. Well, that was my next battle, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.